Uh, eso es la magia en todo este estudio. Noca Suti Ana. Noca Suti Suti Ana. Yo me llamo Ana. Yo me llamo Noca. My name is Ana. This is a story in three parts. I want you to listen very carefully to this beginning because the beginning is really just the end. Can be a Catholic. This is the story of the mountain, of its architects, of its people, of its interpreters. Its elusive story has been cloaked in a fourth dimension through hundreds of years of conquest and reign. We have always been fascinated by the ancient, by lost civilizations that clutch the secret of the universe from their graves. This story is as ancient as it is modern. Characters like Francisco Pizarro and Pachacutec are not dead. The story is not uncovered by picks and brushes, but is reflected in potato farmers, qui razors, and religion and development pesticides, forever connected. While investigating a modern story, I stumbled upon this ancient one and realized they were really one and the same. All of this is the story, just as important as the discovery, the ancient discovery that is finally ready to be told. You have finished recording. You may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, it's me. Um, you will not believe what is going on over here. Uh, pretty crazy. Um, anyway, uh, I'll explain later. Bye. Pitu Sirai. She was the first thing I noticed when I got to Peru. The high altitude made the air thin, and it felt like we were almost at the point where we could peek over the edge of this world. There was something special about this mountain that made an impression on me. Something about the way those bumpy peaks sat together. I was hearing people's stories all day, and I wanted the story of the mountain. Okay, <laughs> let me back up and give some background. I was doing field work, interviewing and surveying small-scale farmers for a research project on organic agriculture. The Green Revolution of the 1970s marked a small death of traditional Incan farming practices. Modern chemical fertilizers and pesticides were introduced by foreigners spreading their ideologies to save the world. Not to be dramatic, but as my mother said, the pathway to hell is paved with good intentions. And now, as we all know, we're seeing a revival of organic farming, a resurrection of our ancestors. I became curious about this cycle of modern conquest and rediscovery of the old. From conquistadors to chemicals, what else of the Incas remains hidden? I started asking for answers. It all started to come clear when I started asking about the mountain, when I met Walid. It all almost seemed like a memory. On January 5th, I found out there was a legend attached to the mountain passed down across generations. This is where the mountain peaks got their names. Urco Waranca was the Curaca, Incan ruler of the town below the mountain. He had a beautiful daughter, Pitu Sirai, and offered her hand in marriage to the man who could bring water to the thirsty fields below. Kunti Sirai was the winner, but Pitu Sirai already had a lover, Sawa Sirai. They ran off together, fleeing to the mountaintops only to be found by Kunti Sirai and punished, turned into snow-capped peaks. On January 8th, I found out something that defies the concept of coincidence. 
Once a year, the mountain projects two shadows on the equinox, the day of the rain dances. The curious thing is, the shadows are none other than Pitu Sidai and Sawa Sidai, woman and puma. On January 10th, I met Walid. By coincidence, we were introduced by a friend in the plaza. I was told that this man discovered 20 years ago that, in fact, the mountain was an agricultural clock made by the Incas, hidden in time, in the fourth dimension. It was one of the most sacred huaracas of the Incas. In the next episodes, Walid shares the details of this legend turned to discovery and reveals to me the brand new information he has uncovered that will change how the world remembers the Incas. Yo siempre sospeché que algo tan impresionante como esto es que ya has visto la sombra por sí. cuanto ves. Tenía que ser algo más que un reloj agrícola, pero no sabía qué cosa podía ser. Fue por primera vez el descubrimiento de la original Huaca Huanacauri en la montaña Pituzina. Pachamama, 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 Pacham